Greetings. This is Principal Kefele. Got a question for the young men. The question is, what is your idea? Once again, what is your idea? Your I-D-E-A. Your idea. Right now as I speak, I'm sitting in my car. I noticed a, a bagel restaurant and a pizzeria sitting right next to each other. So I pulled over and wanted to express this thought. The owners of both restaurants own these two restaurants because both of them had an idea. Forget about whatever money they had, whatever capital they had, whatever resources they had, whatever experience they had. What came prior to all that was an idea, a thought, a notion. The idea that I want to own a bagel shop one day or the idea that I want to own a pizzeria one day. Although the money or the capital is required, although various other resources and knowledge and experience, information, material is required, it's got to start with that idea, though, rooted in one's faith as to what it is that you want to do. And when I say faith, I mean faith in yourself. Rooted in what it is that you want to do. You've got to generate that idea, that thought, that notion of that which you want to do, which may be so different from what everybody else is doing. So I want to focus on the, the bagel shop for a moment. I remember when this bagel shop in another location, but same owner was in, was, was, was first started, first opened, And people used to go there and buy bagels. And then next thing I knew, they opened up another bagel shop, same owner. And then another bagel shop and then another bagel shop. And now I think they have around five or six different bagel shops around this area. And it all started with the owner's idea that bagels could sell, would sell. He could make a profit and own a business and therefore earn a living based on his idea. I don't know what excuses he may have made along the way. I have no idea. But I know that if he did make excuses... I wouldn't be sitting in his parking lot right now. But because of his idea and because of his desire to act on the idea and because of his aspiration of becoming an entrepreneur and because of his vision of being an entrepreneur and, there, and thereby living his purpose of being this entrepreneur, here I sit in the parking lot of this bagel restaurant. Or this bagel shop. So now he's got about five or six. He could have listened to people that said it's not going to work. Why bother? Try something else. Why the hassle? Why burden yourself? But he didn't. And here are these bagel shops. So what's my point? I'm saying that whatever it is that you may want to do, it starts with that idea as well. Come up with the idea. That little four-letter word, I-D-E-A, the idea. Write your idea down. Concentrate on your idea. Focus on your idea. Think about your idea. Make your idea a part of you. And then from there, begin to devise some, some set some goals. Write your goals down. I talked about them in a previous video. Write your goals, those short-range goals, all the way to your long-term goal of, of doing whatever that is you want to do. And those short-term those short goals are your stair steps to the top of the staircase. Then write a plan. Write what you need to do each and every day to get you that much closer to your goal. Write your plan. Live your plan. But once again, it starts with the idea. Dare to come up with an idea. Dare to lock that idea in. Dare to to believe in your idea, dare to act on your idea, dare to make your idea become your reality. And despite whatever negative negativity, disbelief that someone else may have in you, you make it happen, young man. I trust that you can. I know that you can. This is Principal Kefele. Peace.